We just want to extend a heartfelt thank you to everyone who came out and donated school supplies as part of our Rising Tide event. Thanks to you, students here on Delmarva are going to go to class with the supplies they need to succeed. Oh, and by the way, thanks to agriculture for making it possible to buy those supplies. Yes, agriculture. Kelly Voschel is the program and foundation coordinator with the Delaware Farm Bureau and uh, joins us to tell us more about what the heck we're talking about. <laughs> agriculture and school supplies, you say must-haves are made possible because of agriculture? Yes, any everyday things, your paper pads, your pencils, rulers, um, they're all made from wood and agriculture and people just don't realize that when it comes down to it. You got a box of crayons in there. Also crowns. Crowns, um, certain crowns contain a soy material. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Yep. So soybeans are a big thing grown in Delaware and all of Delmarva and a lot of people don't realize that your crowns can come from that. Got to have soybeans. Yeah, I never thought about that. Okay, so you have a shirt there and socks. Clothing, of course. <laughs> your clothing, your uh -huh. cotton, wools. So your winter clothes, that's more the wool and that aspect. So your warm socks, your hats, your mittens, jackets, those types of things. Uh, your t-shirts, cottons. Um, I mean, every day, just polos that kids wear to school every day are so made with cotton. I heard, I heard that with one bale of cotton, you can get 200 pairs of jeans. The bales are very large, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Depending on sizes of jeans, of course, but yes, you can get a lot out of just one bale of cotton. And this even applies to sports. Yes, I did bring a football with me just to show <laughs> that most people don't realize that the footballs do now come from cow hides. I know it's called pig skin, but now it's cow it's hides. Cow hide. Yes, and you can get about 20 footballs from one cow hide. Really? Yeah, yeah. Do you think that people realize this? I mean, you're here for a reason to talk about this. Obviously, not everybody makes that connection. In everyday life, people just think, oh yes, your food comes from farmers and that aspect of agriculture. Mm -hmm. However, just your little everyday things, I don't think people put the connection together of this came from... The store. Yeah. Yeah. Your notepad came from Walmart, is what most people right. think, mm -hmm. or something along those lines, or it came from the store. Whereas they don't realize and put the connection of it came from a tree and someone cutting down that tree right. to be able to get that product. I and that's why we need to keep our farmers and our farms busy and alive. Absolutely. Yeah. It's more than just no farms, no food. Mm -hmm. No farms, no a whole lot of a stuff. A lot of stuff. <laughs> and, and this is one of the things that really makes it possible for kids to go back to school and succeed. Absolutely because of everything that, that comes from farms. Absolutely. So parents, talk to your kids and give them this message. Let, let them, them know. know. It's something that we want everyone to know. Callie Oshel, thank you so much. Thank you to the Delaware Farm Bureau. Good food for thought. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Well yeah. done.